powder coating consists of spraying dry powder plastic material combined with pigments on the part. The paint adheres electrostatically and it must be cured using heat or UV light. There may also be chemical additives to improve flowing out, leveling and degassing. Here are some situations in which powder coating could be used as surface finish. Powder coatings offer a superior finish compared to traditional paint. It is highly durable and long-lasting, exhibiting exceptional resistance to chipping, scratching, fading and corrosion. If the parts will be exposed to harsh environmental conditions or abrasion, powder coating is a suitable choice. Powder coating can be applied to a wide range of materials, including aluminum, steel and even certain plastics and composites. It is suitable for various industries such as automotive, appliances, furniture and outdoor equipment. Powder coating offers a broad spectrum of color options. If the appearance of the part is a crucial factor, powder coatings allows for flexibility in achieving the desired aesthetic. Unlike traditional liquid coatings, powder coating is environmentally friendly. It contains no solvents and little to no volatile organic compounds VOCs, making it a more suitable and cost-effective choice. Powder coating produces a uniform and consistent finish without drips, sags or unevenness. This is particularly advantageous for complex shaped parts or those with intricate details. Powder coating can be more cost-effective for large production runs compared to other coating methods. The efficiency of the process, coupled with minimal waste and being able to recycle the overspray, make it economical for mass production. Powder coatings can improve resistance to certain chemicals, making them suitable for parts that may come into contact with various substances during their use. Powder coatings can withstand high temperatures, making them suitable for parts that will be exposed to heat or fluctuating temperature conditions. Here are some situations in which powder coating is not suitable. Applying thick coatings that cure into a smooth, texture-free finish is relatively easy. However, achieving the same level of smoothness with thin films is more challenging. As the film thickness decreases, the texture tends to show increased orange peel effects, which are influenced by factors such as particle size and the powder's glass transition temperature. Powder coating may not be suitable for very thin or flexible parts, as the curing process involves high temperatures that could lead to distortion or damage. In such cases, a coating method that exposes the part to lower temperatures might be more appropriate. Some base materials may be sensitive to high temperatures. Powder coating requires curing at elevated temperatures, and if the parts cannot withstand these temperatures, alternative coating methods may be more suitable. Powder coating is often more cost-effective for large production runs. For small batch and one-off projects, the initial setup cost for powder coating equipment may make it less economical compared to other coating options. Powder coatings can have insulating properties, which may be undesirable for parts that require electrical conductivity. Some powder coatings may not offer optimal UV resistance, leading to fading or degradation when exposed to prolonged sunlight. In outdoor applications where UV resistance is crucial, specific coatings designed for outdoor durability may be preferred. Hope you enjoyed this video and found it interesting. Please contact us if you have any questions. Until next time, stay curious.